Look at these guys who came to join me. You guys came here to keep me company, huh? Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Hey Mr. Hino, where are you? What are you doing? I am here at this beautiful park out here in Tennessee. And I apologize guys, I know I had done some of those uh, innovative project videos and I kind of fell off the map here. Uh, but things around here have been so busy, I'm, I'm kind of shocked. I'm all, I got an afternoon to myself to hang out here with the ducks. Um, but what I wanted to do is bring something up with you guys that are robotics teachers or robotics students. It just caught my eye the other day. I was reading an article about what teachers really wish they could tell their students, but can't for obvious reasons, you know, for, you know, you just don't want to get in trouble. You don't want to give away secrets. You don't want to, you know, have people actually hear what you're thinking. And I came across this. It's, uh, let me read it to you because I don't even want to give preface to it. I just want to read and it just, it was a part of this article and it just struck me. I'm going to just go ahead and read it to you. And this is not my words. This is coming from somebody, you know, they're obviously anonymous. But let me read you what they wrote. And let me kind of, I will preface this a little bit. Um, these are all comments from either teachers or people in the educational system that are definitely seeing um, the kids for what they are. And they're, and they're truly loving on kids, wanting the best for them. And again, it's things they wish they could say, but they can't for obvious reasons. So let me read this to you. I'm not a teacher, but an evening janitor. Part of my area is where the robotics club gathers and works. You guys are so amazing. I wish you could see what I see. A group of kids who are well mixed in ethnicity and gender working hard together. I never see signs of drama when I walk by. Looking through the windows, I can see that you guys are listening to each other and treating each other seriously while also having fun. When you guys leave at night, your room is my favorite to clean. It's always so clean already and I get to look at your projects and see what all that elbow grease is doing. It's encouraging to know that these kids are a part of our future. They stay an average of two hours after school every day, and you can tell it's not forced. They are so enthusiastic that their energy practically shines into the hallway. I celebrate every time a new award is added to the trophy cabinet in the hall. So whether you're a robotics teacher or student, just be encouraged about that because this janitor is obviously giving his thoughts or her thoughts, I'm not sure, um, if it's a man or a woman, but they're they're seeing into the life of robotics and that encompasses everything that I love about robotics that the students that I had that came after school, man, they wanted to be there. They came right after the bell rang. Um, they wanted to stay longer. They were upset when we quit. Um, when I was teaching a robotics class, when the bell rang, they're like, man, we don't want to go. We want to stay here. And that's what I love about robotics. And, you know, uh, I used to teach robotics back in California. I'm here in Tennessee now. And so obviously God has a different direction for me. And not that I am 100% taken away from robotics. I still do robotics with my second grade class. But um, it's there's a definite passion that we all share about it. And it this is it, guys. This is just what makes robotics so cool and today I, I didn't want this thing to be a full long overblown thing i just want to encourage you guys that are doing robotics that people are seeing and watching you guys cooperate enjoy what you're doing have a passion for what you're doing and it's contagious it f overflows to the janitor and it overflows to parents teachers the other students um so keep doing what you're doing, guys. I just want to inspire you, encourage you to continue pushing, continue to get better, continue to strive for 
higher than what you think because I know you guys can do it. So I know that a lot of you right now are in the midst of your robotic season, competitions. Enjoy it for what it's worth because it's over like that. Um, you're going to be moving up levels to, you know, first Lego League challenge to maybe FRC or FTC. And it's over in a heartbeat, guys. So never you know overthink something to the point where you lose your joy don't get hung up on the drama um, that steals your joy enjoy every second because it's over in a heartbeat and I want you guys to just keep enjoying and doing what you're doing because you're gonna look back and these are kind of probably be the best years of your school life I guarantee it okay guys thank you so much for watching and listening to me I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. I will try to get back to you guys as soon as possible with another video, okay? I am out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.